Explain. Explain. Essay. Essay. Persuade. Persuade. Certain. Certain. Rule. Rule. Friendship. Friendship. Trust. Trust. Feeling. Feeling. Truth, truth. Following, following. Research, research. Own, own. Variety, variety. Since, since. Don't bite the hand that feeds you. Don't hurt someone who takes care of you. Julie, I simply can't understand you. I've worked my fingers to the bone, and I've saved and scrimped to pay for your college education. And here you go running off to get married without finishing school. Hasn't anyone ever told you, don't bite the hand that feeds you? You must know how disappointed I am. I'm sorry, Dad. I don't mean to hurt you after all you've done for me. And I have every intention of going back to school after Al and I get settled. He's got a great job overseas. And he wants me to go with him as his wife. Still, I find it difficult to approve of your decision to quit school now when you're about to get your degree. Don't be hasty. Why don't you give this a little bit more thought? Don't count your chickens before they're hatched. Don't plan on the successful results of something until those results actually occur. Hi, Lydia. How are you doing with your book about the Indian tribes of the Amazon? I haven't found a publisher yet, but I know it will be a big success. I'm going to use the money from my advance royalties as a down payment on that condo I've been looking at. Don't count your chickens before they're hatched. What if you can't find a publisher? I guess you're right. I really should not count on getting any money until the book is actually accepted for publication. And even then, the publishers may not advance you enough for a down payment on that condo. But don't despair. It's quite possible that someone out there will want to publish your book. I wish you all the best.